Hello and welcome to Winter Wonderland, I suppose. It's quite nice snowy landscape and also the temperature is quite nice today, so a good day for some photography. And the camera I'm out uh, shooting with today is the Canon 400D, the first camera I ever bought. Not uh, this particular unit, unfortunately. I managed to break my original one. But fortunately you can find these for quite cheap these days, almost next to nothing. So I got one and I decided to revisit this camera and see how it is to use in 2023. The Canon 400D is part of Canon's Rebel series, their entry-level DSLRs. Or actually the name, it varies depending on where it was sold. So in North America they were known as the Rebel XDI. But in Europe, where I bought it, it's the 400D and its successor to the 350D. And well, the 300D was the first Canon Digital Rebel, as they also had film version of these cameras. It pretty much is the definition of an entry-level camera. It is cheap, small, light and plasticky. But on the other hand, it has full manual controls. And if you mount a good lens to it, it's quite a capable camera, actually. It doesn't have the same conveniences and advanced features as uh, more expensive cameras like this. Uh, the 700, which I also have with me today. Of course, I cannot leave home with only one camera. It has at least three or four. Three today, actually. Or four if I count the GoPro. The bad things about the camera, well, first of all, the viewfinder is quite small. It's not so nice for composing your photos, but you can still manage. It's not terrible, though. Another bad thing is the autofocus. In low light, it's uh, quite useless. It hunts a lot and doesn't really find the focus that easily. And one more thing, which is a bit not nice is the grip. It's a bit small, I cannot fit all my fingers on it. But on the other hand, it also makes the camera quite small. That's actually a good thing about the camera, that it's uh, small and light, so it's easy to take with you. When I was using this camera actively, I was actually bringing it with me almost everywhere. So I do have a lot of nice photos from back in the day, taken with this camera. The Canon 400D uses a 10 megapixel SEMA sensor. And the image quality is actually quite nice, even still today. I mean, for the resolution, it produces quite nice image quality. Before I got this camera, I was using an Olympus Digicam, a C something from 1999 with 1 1.3 megapixels. And the jump in image quality from that camera to this one was quite unbelievable. I have not experienced the same tremendous leap in uh, image quality since then. Well, anyway, let's uh, take some photos. I actually came outside to do some photography and not only talk <laughs> about the camera. And I have arrived to this uh, location here, this uh, collapsed barn. It makes some quite interesting photos. Yeah, the snow also makes the scene more interesting, I think. The light is a bit dull, perhaps, but uh, I can live with that. I can make it work soon, I think. Of course, I also have plenty of old photos I could show. I mean, I will show those later in the video, but I really want to also try this camera and see how it is to use today, when I have gained a bit more experience since I used this uh, model the last time. Of course, as always, we start by turning on the camera. Yeah. Here we go. The... You have to be kidding me. <laughs> no CF card. Fortunately, Fortunately, I brought the D700 so I can use the <laughs> CF card from that camera. But this will not be convenient at all for my comparison because I have to change the cars all the time. How could I forget the CF? Oh. <laughs> Let's uh, format. There we go. And now. And we should of course not use ISO 1600. And one thing I don't like about this camera is to change the ISO. You have to go into the menu and go up and down, it's no like quick setting for it. And the same with the aperture, there's no dedicated dial for it. You have to press a button and rotate. So not so convenient for changing a lot of settings. So I guess this camera is more convenient when using automatic or half automatic modes. But at least you can change the manual settings and that's very important, I think. So yeah, let's go and take some photos finally. <laughs>
And now the same shots with the T700. Let's uh, take out the card. Okay, close the camera, let's say first, and then take out the card. Okay, there we go. Out from one camera. Into the next one. There we go. Okay. It has, some water has dripped on my D700, but fortunately it is weather sealed. Not the lens though, so I need to get this water off first of all. I don't want to have water inside my camera. That would really be bad. Using the Canon 400D and the Nikon D700 next to each other really shows the differences between the cameras. I mean, the grip on this camera is fantastic, the viewfinder as well. With the 400D it was a bit difficult to compose the photos because the viewfinder is so dark or small. I mean, using a more advanced camera does make it more easy, more convenient. But of course you can still make quite nice photos with the 400D and I'm quite curious to see how the photos turned out. Did I make the right decision by choosing this camera over the other options available at the time? Well, that's something I've been thinking about since I've been shooting with this camera. And well, there were plenty of other options. First of all, other DSLRs by other manufacturers like Nikon, Sony slash Minolta, or even Pentax. I could, of course, also have gone for an advanced compact camera or even film, since the prices for both the gear and the film were quite low at that time. I wanted a digital camera though, so film was not an option, even though I got interested in that later. I think it was a good thing that I didn't start with film, because I would probably have dropped it rather quickly. And for advanced compact cameras, well, I could have gotten the Canon G7, for example, but I think I would have outgrown it rather quickly. The reason I wanted a DSLR was because of the interchangeable lenses. It gives uh, many more options uh, for taking photos. And I think I made the right decision in that regard. So I narrowed my options down to Canon and Nikon DSLRs. I don't remember exactly why I chose Canon over Nikon. Maybe because the 400D was a newer release at the time. It had more features and so on. I could of course have gone with the Canon 30D, but I chose to go with a cheaper model and get more lenses instead, because that was the reason I wanted a DSLR to be able to change lenses, have more different focal lengths. Now that some time has passed since my camera decision, I know it would not have made a big difference I mean one brand over the other. Uh, when you get more experience, you more realize what features you need and what your camera is lacking. So yeah, just getting a DSLR was a good start for my photography. Today I don't have that much use of this camera to be honest. I have many better cameras so if I would do some let's say landscape photos I would use those cameras. The big advantage of this camera is that it's small and light and cheap also. So if you need to do photography in some more sketchy area or when traveling it can be quite nice actually. I think this is all about this camera for now. If you have any questions you can always write in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!